Hello fans of British cars. In this video we're going to look at some Lolas and a bunch of other British brands. So let's get started. Lola is an interesting brand. It's a British racing car company. And they have a long history of being overshadowed. Um, this car is a Lola GT, and it was kind of the seed that grew into the Ford GT40. It doesn't often get acknowledged that way, but when Ford decided they wanted to make an endurance racer to beat Ferrari, they didn't start from scratch, they started from this. This is an Aurora Cigar Box model. The story with these if I understand correctly. These are old, they're vintage models. And Aurora and Marks were two companies that um, made a lot of toys at the time and they made slot cars. Um, so this has a plastic body like a slot car. But then at the end of the 60s when Hot Wheels and Matchbox were becoming really popular uh, these companies like Marks and Aurora retooled their slot cars to have a metal base with an interior instead and sold them to compete with Hot Wheels. So they put the metal base and they called them Cigar Box. I guess here they're, that's like Matchbox, sort of. This one obviously is really beat up, but I have a nice one. Right-hand drive, of course. Look at how long that steering column is. That's pretty funny. The steering wheel goes halfway up the seat. Well, this was probably built in the 60s, so a long time. So there's the Lola GT. The Lola that most people know is this one. This is a Hot Wheels Redline. As red lines go, this one is really easy to get. They must have made a ton of them. GT70. This model has an opening rear hatch. The engine's all chromed in there. So this was a Le Mans racer. Uh, it ran with a V8, usually like a Ford V8 engine in the back. And it was competitive with Porsches and Ferraris and stuff. Um, not quite enough to win, but still, it was a way for people to get into the race if they weren't well connected and rich, like the people on the Ferrari or Porsche teams. So I have this in a few colors, because like I said, it's easy to get. I've got the dark green one. Uh, I've got it in shiny red. orange. A couple other companies made this car since it was pretty well known. So here's another version. This is an inferior cast and it's a Zilmax. It says Lola Chevrolet spelled wrong, of course. So I guess this one had a Chevy V8 as opposed to a Ford. I have two of these in yellow and white. I don't know why. I think maybe they came together. Otherwise, I don't think I would have felt it necessary to have two of them. And then... This is the same car, again, obviously, same body. So this is a 166 model from Pola Toys, and they say Lola Aston Martin. So in this case, it had an Aston Martin eight-cylinder engine in the back. Um, so it doesn't matter what you put in the back, an Aston engine, a Chevy, a Ford, it just couldn't beat a Porsche 917 but it's still a really cool car. 
of historic significance. And that's the last Lola. Now the rest of these British cars, I uh, have a, a few cars from a lot of different brands. So we're gonna kind of rush through them fast. This is a BRM. Um, BRM stood for British Racing Mechanics or something like that, I'm not sure. Uh, I like the Marlboro colors on this one. This is a Champion model from France. So it's got a metal base and a plastic body. And here's another BRM Formula car. This is all metal. This is made by FC in Holland. And let's see, what's next? Triumph. Triumph has been around forever, but I only have a couple Triumphs. Because of my age, I always love these wedge-shaped cars like this. So this is a Triumph TR7. It's a Corgi model. This was kind of the end of the line for the TR series, which had been around forever. They tried to do TR8. This is theoretically a TR8. This is a um, Kenner a weird license plate thing on the back but I don't think there was ever a TR9 okay uh, we've got uh, Morris Mini this is one of very very few Hot Wheels super treasure hunts that I've ever found I don't know if I was lucky or if other people just weren't interested in this one I don't know I certainly wouldn't have bought it I do like the Michelin logo there Paint's not bad. But I do have another version of this casting, this one, because the interesting thing about this, this treasure hunt, super treasure hunt, of course, it's metal with a plastic base and real riders. But originally this cast had a trick feature. It had a plastic body and a metal base and a little catch or switch in the back that allows you to pop the body off. And underneath, you get a lot of detail in here, including a roll cage. It looks almost like you could take it apart further, but I haven't tried, except that the roll cage, I think, yeah, the roll cage can actually kind of rotate swings open like this so I don't know how many people even might have had this car and never realized it has all these opening parts so that's the Morris Mini from Hot Wheels um, let's see this is a Ford I showed one Ford in but German cars, and here I'm showing a Ford in British, but to me Ford is mostly an American company, but I don't think this particular Ford was ever sold in America. It's a Schuko model. It says it was a console or a Granada. Uh, Schuko 166, as usual, it's got opening doors. It's got nice details. Ford. This car I showed in the Concepts video. It's a Corgi Whiz Wheels, and this is an Adams Probe. These Adams Brothers made one, one of these, I think. It was featured in the movie Clockwork Orange, and it was a really cool, swoopy-looking low car. And then another single example I have here, this is a Jensen, Jensen Interceptor. This is an old Corgi too, but even older metal one. It's got opening doors. This is a cool car actually. Um, it was like a muscle car. Okay, now we have um, Austin Healy. He's a recent Matchbox casting of a classic Austin Healy. I like the car, so I got two of them. And 
This car is an Austin Healey Bug Eye Sprite for obvious reasons. It's called a Bug Eye. Uh, it's cast as a Johnny Lightning. It's an old Johnny Lightning. And unfortunately, it's really huge. The car was just tiny, tiny, itty bitty bitty car. And this cast, it's nice. It's got good detail. It's heavy. It's metal. It's solid. It's got rubber wheels, I think. Um, but it's way, way too big. Front opens. It's got engine detail. At this period, Johnny Lightning made a few of these British cars that are really nice models, but just huge, monstrous. You'll see another one in a minute. Uh, so this is another Austin Healey Sprite. Sorry for the condition of this car. I don't have a better one to show you. This is an ancient Corgi. So this is an Austin Healey Sprite that went to Le Mans, apparently. I think if it had done particularly well, maybe we would know a little more about it. But maybe it's just my own ignorance. Uh, next one we have here, the windshield broke off in shipping, I think. This is another La Festa car. AC Bristol. It's an Ace. Of course, AC is known for making the Cobra that Shelby put a V8 into. Here's another old British Roadster. This is another Johnny Lightning model. This is a more recent one, though. This is a Sunbeam Tiger. I like the wheels and tires on this one. Pretty nice model. Uh, okay, now we've got a few MGs. This is an old Lesney Matchbox cast. Got the old Lesney wheels. And it's got a nice grill, but I love it for the dog, of course. I've mentioned this before. I have a special fondness for die-cast cars with dogs. And this one is extra nice. I mean, there's some, like, station wagons with dogs in the back, but I love the way this dog is sticking his nose out the window. It's a more recent Matchbox MG. This is the MG BGT. Before this came out, this car was not, to my knowledge, available in 164, which is really kind of shocking because it was a ubiquitous car at one point. They sold a ton of them. And this cast, it's okay. Um, it's not great. It's too big for one thing. Here's another one. Same cast, different base, same wheels. I'm glad to have any MGB GT in this scale, so I shouldn't complain, but it'd be nice to see a couple other options. Here's the other big, huge, old Johnny Lightning. And this is an MGB, but not the GT. This is the MGB Roadster, all chrome. It's got an opening hood with a Pretty fancy metal engine in there. Okay, this, uh, I'm pushing it calling this a British car, but they were made in Ireland. Look it up. This is a DeLorean. It's a Hot Wheels. There's a bunch of different Hot Wheels versions of this. Uh, this is an older one, so the back opens up. The more recent versions of this don't have the opening back, unfortunately. And here is the Hot Wheels DeLorean from the old Boulevard series. I think there's a new Boulevard DeLorean. I don't have that one, at least not yet. Hopefully I'll get it at some point. I don't know if they kept the opening back on that or if they used the back like on the main line that doesn't open anymore. If you know the new one, please leave a comment below and tell me about it. There is another version of this that's one of my Grail cars, but I'm never going to be able to afford it. It was a special Hot Wheels convention car. It was given out at a dinner, and it's um, 
the finish on it, instead of being raw like this, it's brushed and the gullwing doors open on it. It's just amazing. It's probably the best 164 DeLorean, but it costs over $100, so it's not for me. And we've got one more DeLorean. Speaking of opening gullwing doors, this is a crude casting. It just kind of vaguely looks like a DeLorean. It's not as good as the Hot Wheels casting, but it does have the opening gullwing doors. They go way up, and then this is a Zilmax. See the Z? Z-E-E? -E? It's another way they are labeled uh, Z or Zilmax. This is an old Zilmax, so it's got a metal base, which is nicer than the more recent ones. All right, uh, let's see. That's all in this episode. Let's zoom back out, take a look at the crowd. I hope you enjoyed this mix of British classics. Uh, I can do a couple more videos worth of British cars. I have yet to cover Jaguar, Aston Martin, McLaren, Rolls-Royce, and Bentley. So we've got one or two more British to do, and then we'll be done with Europe. As always, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please leave a comment below. Thank you. Bye-bye.